Hey everybody, welcome back to Dark Place, Pokemon Prism. Last time, we made a few new friends. Meet the guys. Oh, actually, Caterpie is an item. Didn't even get to the look. Oh, Silk. Yeah, I remember that. Can just take that real quick. And we have Ralts here, of beautiful custom animations here. Well, Ralts more or less beautiful. Looks a little bit awkward there. Silk, strong fiber, made by Caterpie. Okay. I think this is just a, like a commodity you can sell. At least I haven't found another use for that. Okay, so we got our Larvita, somebody stole a Bagan. Let's just see how much the Silk sells for. Sells for 125, okay, we'll keep that then for now. You know, it's a good game when it starts off with an ice puzzle. <laughs> Am I right? It's not really a puzzle that much. Oh, you hear that music? Is it X and Y music? Was Caper City too cold for you? You're in luck. It starts getting warmer from this route onwards. Good thing I'm playing this in winter. Oh wow, that's actually pretty detailed. Clefrain Tunnel is to the right and Oxalis City. I remember the name of the city actually. I'm too anxious standing here. I'm afraid of falling off. Maybe if I crawled down I would be safe. Yeah, you know that feeling when you're standing on the edge of something really high? Like even when there's a fence between you and the abyss, you just feel like... Like something is dragging you down, right? There's a word for that in French actually. My box will grow up to be strong. We'll see about that, Gary. Okay, nice little wall beat. I read about how many Pokemon there are in this game actually when I was like researching what to put in the description of the last video. And I read that there are 253 different Pokemon. I think, at least it said this, I don't know whether, like, how true it is or not, or if I remember correctly, but that's what we can expect. And it's up to Gen 4, is what they said. Although Shinx, is Shinx a Gen 4 Pokemon? Now comes the embarrassing part, it is, right? I should really know. That, like, ah, no fair. You know, when I was young, I was like, I remember every Pokemon and every move a Pokemon learns at every level and things like that. But now they change things around and stuff like that. And now I'm like, I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> Try to get a snow run for our Pokedex if we can. Okay, good no crit. It's a little dicey here. Let's throw one of them balls. I love the Pokeball animation by the way. One, two, three. Ding ding ding. Yeah, that's easy enough. Look at that beautiful Gen 2 sprite by the way. Nicely made. It is said that several Snorrent gather under giant leaves and live together in harmony. That is very wholesome. I still have this soft sand, right? I'm going to just give this to Lavitar here. Maybe going to replace Geodude with Snorrent. A lovely field of flowers here. I really dislike celebrities. It just gets so much attention for so little effort. I mean, even the champion of the region league has his own TV show. That's nuts. He's kinda right. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's an orange berry. Alright. It's interesting that they have berry trees, but it's like the berries from Gen 3 and not just, hey, it's berry, hey, it's anti poison berry or whatever it is called. Oh, okay. While Tello, Taylor, 
Halo, is that how you say it? Okay, good one. Nose Pursuit on level 3, okay. That's very interesting. Please join my box. Okay. I wonder what the shiny sprites in this game are like. Will we encounter a shiny Pokemon in the playthrough? I mean, I highly doubt it, to be honest. It has a gutsy spirit that makes it bravely take on tough foes. It flies in search of warm climates. Oh, actually, I don't want to give him... or to give her a nickname. Um, if I look at my Pokemon... Yeah, we also don't really have a flying type except for Zubat. Another thing I want to check. The moves, Leech Life. Yeah, Leech Life is still just 20 power, okay. This was before it became one of the best moves in the entire game. Go, Sentret! Okay, show me your Sentret, Jerry. I think I'll just mud slap that one. Oh, Mudslip doesn't automatically lower accuracy, apparently? No, apparently not. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Love Vitor. Um, who are we going to keep in our team? Probably Royals, right? Here we trace Keen Eye. This also only knows Mudslip. Okay, that's interesting. Royals with Mudslip. Oh god. Nailed it. No trouble at all. Ready for some EXP. Okay, that's not bad. We learned Growl. Maybe they didn't put in all the moves yet, that's why Rhodes has, has Mudslap. No, Sentret! This is a no Sentret town, man. Crystal Silk. Get it? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't, man. I like the demake of this soundtrack, man. I hope, I hope it's on YouTube, actually. Mm. Who will I lead with here? It's actually a very good question. What are our abilities? Like, this one has Shield Dust. Trace seems legit. Rock Head. Okay, that's actually a pretty good ability. Too bad we won't be keeping Geodid around. In a focus, runaway. Mm -hmm. Let's lead with Caterpie then. The stairs lead down to a cave, so be careful. Thanks for the tip, old man. Hello there. You're interested in completing the Pokedex someday? So perhaps I can help you out. This isn't much, but it will be of some assistance. Oh, nice, okay. That's why you talk to every NPC in Pokemon. I'm eager to see a complete Nalcho. Is it Nalcho or is it Naljo Pokemon Dex? It's it feels like a Spanish word. Come back when you're done. Okay. Route 72 is ahead. It's full of eager trainers waiting to battle. Frankly, what losers? Okay, first let's just check down here. Okay, yeah, this is a cave. I think I'm just going to try and run from Zubat. Here we go. Run, Caterpie. Run! <laughs> oh god. I should have led with Sentret. Okay, there we go. I just want to get this item, basically. TM09, hail. That's actually cool. Okay, let me just go the weaklings way here. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> just breezing through back to the Pokemon Center. And over here, and then I will also withdraw Snowrunt actually. 
What are the boxes like? I didn't check that out yet. Uh, okay, seems to be standard Gen 2 stuff. Okay, Geodude is who we want to deposit here, for now at least. Snowrun, you come with us. Anyone else you want to come with us here? So Snowrun, Ralts and Lavitar seem to be pretty cool. Do we want Sentret on the team and Zubat? I think... Oh well, now I'm going de to deposit Zubat and I'm going to withdraw Taylor here. And then give me the heals. Yeah, maybe you saw that I changed up the overlay a little bit. Last time it didn't scale that well, so... I made, so, I made just like a little edit. I think this looks much better. So I hope the first episode doesn't scare you off or anything. I will lead with Snowrun, maybe. What type do you have move voice? Powder Snow and Leer. Okay, TM seem to be unlimited use. I will teach it to Snowrunt. Now the next question is, how long do, do weather conditions last in this game? Because standard gen 2 is like infinite weather conditions, right? You just start rain dancing and it just rains until the fight is done. So what will it be like? Will it be 5 turns or <laughs> will it be forever? Cast your votes now. Route 72. Okay, yep, my item sensor was right. Two paralyzed heals. I'll take it. Love the mapping, by the way. Hey there! If two trainers meet eye to eye, the battle begins. Okay, show me what you got, man. Youngster Jordan. Oh, your tailor is going to have a bad time. Just powder snow this one, I think. He only has two Pokemon. If he had three, I would have used Hail, maybe. Oh, the Snorin is actually female, so we could... ...theoretically... ...get a little, uh, what's it called? Frostless, I think? Sometimes it's hard to differentiate between Japanese, Chinese, German and English Pokemon names, so... If I ever mix something up, don't be don't be surprised. What happened? You lost, son. It's hard work being a trainer. You never know what your opponent has in store. So there's Pidgey and Taylor in this game. Oh hey there. Can I interest you in a battle? Be okay, shown what you got, girl. Technical Lois. Oh, Numel, that's pretty cool, but also pretty terrible because <laughs> we're packing ice type here. Larvita, it's time for mud slaps. Can somebody please make a demake of Pokemon Sword and Shield and just like make it in like an old Game Boy aesthetic? I would love that. I have seen a video about it, but it wasn't playable, it was just just a video to the best of my knowledge, so if there is a ROM there, man, I would play the hell out of that. What would the wild area be like in earlier gens, right? Because I feel the gen 8 wild area, it's it's a nice idea, it's a nice proof of concept, but it's just not interesting after a while. It's just too small, if that makes sense, and there aren't a lot of details, like, you know, you have your rocks and your occasional tree and things like that. But even there's... You can involve your mask into... Uh, is it Runerius, I think? In the wild area, but there's no clue that that might be the case, right? They could have made like some paintings or something, like of this weird shadow dragon, for lack of a better word, on one of those stone walls. There's no environmental storytelling in... 
in Gen 8, and that's what I feel is a little bit terrible about the gym. Who's the biggest Pikachu fan? Look no further. Because the environments are nice, but also a little bit lifeless. If you look at the Galar mines, like they're just firstly they're just in Galar Mine 1 and 2, which is a little bit weird. And secondly, when you walk across that first bridge in Galar Mine 1, you see like a lower area. I was like, oh, so I probably have to drop down and then go there. No, you just continue straight ahead and then you're out again. Like there's no, there's a lot of horizon then, uh, horizontality to Pokemon Sword and Sheep, but there's almost no verticality. And that's what I find a little bit weird. Okay, can you stop slapping me, please, Pikachu? I think I'm just going to use a potion here, to be honest. I would like an EXP share or an EXP all, depending on what they have in this game. I feel like handing this to a trainer early is quite helpful. And I'm actually one of the people who doesn't mind the new EXP share. I mean, it would be nice if you could turn it off, which to the best of my knowledge you can't in Sword and Shield, right? But at the same time, grinding your entire team up is pretty cool, and if you don't want to, then just box your Pokémon or something. Snow and learn bite. Cool. Okay, bite is one of my favorite moves. My Pikachu. I thought he would he have two Pokemon, that's why I used Hail there. Surprise! Education is the key to success. I feel the characters I've encountered in this game so far have been really well written. It's because sometimes you, the characters, they don't really have that Game Freak feel to them, right? Especially when <laughs> when there's ROM hacks or fan games where people say things like, things like, oh, I will kill you or something, and you would never find that in a Game Freak game. Like, they will never use something like kill or die or almost never. I can't remember whether in Lavender Town in Gen 1 they used, like, the word die specifically, or just said, said pass away, which is way more like a softer way of saying this. But yeah, sometimes that's the problem with Pokemon fan games, they just like overly edgy, you know? They want to make this. Pokemon is a children's game, let's face it, right? So they want to make this this dark experience, but it's a Pokemon game, man, come on! <laughs> like. Gen 7. Was it Gen 7? No, Gen 6 was like pretty dark, right? With the entire I'm going to destroy humanity thing. But at the same time, it still had this child's charm about it. But something like you can see this in Pokemon Uranium where there's a very clear split between how the writing changes. At first I was like, okay, this sounds like a Game Freak game when I first when I started playing it and then after the halfway point or something, there's like people s suddenly start speaking differently, and there you can see that a different uh, creator started making this game. I need to do some thinking. My Pokemon hates me, and I don't know why. Okay. Oh, we are already in Oxala City, that's nice, okay. So let's find a Pokemon Center first, I think. This is the gym. This is the mart. Yeah, so in Pokemon Uranium, what happened there was uh, it got discontinued, I think. It probably got a cease and desist from Nintendo themselves. And then some other group of people decided to keep developing Uranium, as far as I know. Yeah, and you can really feel the drop in the writing. Although where exactly, like, they, so to say, broke off, I don't really know. I'm from Sinnoh, and the Pokemon here are really different. I see a few familiar faces, but the wild is mostly different. Okay. A trainer laughed at my Pokemon, but I think my Jigglypuff is the cutest. 
Maybe it's because they don't live in the wild in region? Why would they love this so rude? Shh. I'm beating my old high score. High score in what, man? I tell you, this place, like, if you're trying to be a nice person around here, you know, like, you say hello or good morning and it just blows up in your face. Leave me alone, get lost, scrub. Don't touch me. I know peeps from Johto and region. Way more chill. You say yo and they reply hey. So why are Naljo people so stuck up all the time? I don't know, maybe Naljo is based on, St on Germany or something. <laughs> this house has two underground passageways. Who was built to connect Oxalis with the mountains on Route 73. Lately, trainers have started to gather inside. One guy even gives away free Pokemon from time to time. Free Pokemon? How does this work? Okay, I thought those were teleporters, my mistake. Oh, okay, I see. We're back in the 2D world. I like that actually. Found stick. Is this the far fetched thing? An ordinary stick, sell low. Okay, no, it's just a stick. Word of advice just for you, kid. It's better to train multiple Pokemon instead of just one. Seems like a good NPC to give the XP share to. What is this? Oh, this is just a normal PC, it doesn't look like one, but alright. Okay, then let's... This probably leads to somewhere new, let's just speak to those people here first. Really like those 2D sections, actually. Hey, guys. Uh-oh. Ha! Shocked you, didn't I? Yeah, I just want to have a free Pokémon, man. Please don't have strong Pokémon. Pokemaniac Aaron, hey, it's like my brother. <laughs> okay, level 7, I think I can take that. Okay, Powder Snow, not bad, but it has Thunder Shock. Larvitar, okay, you are rock round, right? For some reason I always thought Lavita was just rock. Am I losing my mind? Maybe. Yeah, just mud slap that one and goodbye. Ah, I lost. That makes me mad. It's just a game where you have to be mad. What is it? Pokemaniac Paul. Okay, he's got a Ralts. Oh yeah, we have Bite, so that's going to be nice. Here we go. Okay, this Ralts has Confusion, so... By level 7 hours we probably also have learned Confusion then. I'd wager at least. Oh, it flinched. Nice. Um, just go for another Bite. I was checking out... Like, how much PP those two moves have, but they both have a max of 25, so it really doesn't matter. Hey, Jeez, don't brag about it. Are you all just douchebags here? Having lots of Pokémon helps you deal with multiple different types. Ultimately, you have no clear type weakness left. Okay, nerd, thanks for the insight. Super Nerd Bill wants to battle. Oh look, Yanma, that's cool. I would really like a Yanma on our team, actually. Yanmega is probably in this, judging by how it goes up to Gen 4. Okay, it survived that. So it's potion time for Snowrunt. Oh, it has speed boost. Alright then, <laughs> that's how it works, huh? I don't think Yanma can learn Leech Life in the original, right? They probably had to make like use of the moves they have. 
Oh, look at that EXP boost. Nice. Trapinch, I think. Now here's the question. Is ice super effective on only rock or only ground? It's ground, right? Sounds like it. Yeah, okay. Okay, our accuracy fell. Snowrun doesn't care. Okay, nice little level 10 there. It's trying to learn Spite. And let's learn, actually. Let's get rid of Leer. Spite should be the kind of move that makes the enemy PP decrease. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, I would like to heal our boy up here. I have a feeling we might need it. I always come here to train with my Pokemon friends. Good for you, man. Oh, uh, coughing, alright. Don't have any type advantage against it, I think. Um, let's try. Actually, give me a second here. I want to see what's our ability. Inner focus. Okay, that's that's too bad then. Should I go for powder snow or hail? I think I will go for hail first. Okay, 6 HP damage from the tackle. It's more than I would like. Let's try a stab powder snow here. Wow, that's pretty good. It's super effective. Why is that? <laughs> that doesn't seem right to me. Oh. Yeah, well, that's awkward. Snow run versus snow run. Oh, I clicked too fast there with powder snow. Oh, and this one has Ice Body, yeah? I was actually hoping we would have this ability. Okay, it's just going for a Leer. It's not too bad. We're still faster, at least. Maybe we can make it flinch? Nope. Okay, here comes the fun part. Larvita, you can do this, right? Okay, the hail subsided. Please just don't die, Larvita. <laughs> okay, accuracy fail, that's good. Uh oh. Is this going to be a wipe? Okay, let's go, Rolls. Oh, nice, I miss. <laughs> Routes did it again. Nice XP chunk there. Grumble. Looks like you're not my friend. Okay, there's no heal machine here, sadly. Before I talk to this guy at the end there, let me just head back to the Pokemon Center once again. But at least Routes got something out of it. Now oh, here's my terrible orientation. Where's the Pokemon Center again? Was here? Yeah, okay. Okay, nurse. One quick one, please. Okay. All healed up and ready to go. Why am I even doing this here? I don't know, I have a feeling we might get a free Pokemon from this guy, just based on what one of the NPCs said. So... Okay, those guys don't want to rebattle me, that's good. Greetings, I give gifts to talented trainers. If you have what it takes, then prove it. Okay, yeah, I thought we might fight him first. Now the fact that he's a black belt... ...makes me sweat a little bit here. Because our best Pokemon are... Both weak to fighting types. 
Oh, Powder Snow doesn't really do that much here. Okay, then a Hail might be good here. Real bummer we don't have Ice Buddy, actually. Should I have bought potions? Maybe. There's a case, a case to be made for that. Oh, he's frozen. Nice. Exactly what I needed. I didn't want to say it. hopefully it freezes, but it did. Oh, it was defrosted. Oh no, reversal. <laughs> wow. Really got me, huh? Get them rods. Oh, it has thick fat. I see. That's why this did this. This did almost nothing to him. Nice. It's about to use my chop. Um, let's try first. Let's try to mud slap this thing. Because at least its moves aren't very effective on us, right? Accuracy falls. Might ha have to kind of cheat our way through it. Okay, that was a nice pound. No objections. Oh, you have you only have pursuit, right? Wow. Okay, boys, <laughs> make it count. Don't know how Caterpie survived that one. But there he goes. Okay, now the real question is, Lavitar, can, can you make this? Let me do something tactical here, let's check our stats. Attack 18, special attack 14. Um, can I check my moves from here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I can only check my moves outside of battle, I think. Mud slap, please. Critical hit? Uh-oh. Okay, that was not too bad. I think it might have, have like the no guard ability or something because it just kept hitting us <laughs> okay goodbye cruel world okay that's the first loss of the game huh i really want to show off the free pokemon whatever that might be so here's how we do that Brick piece, a rare chunk of tile. Why would I buy a piece of brick? I'll buy five potions. Are there any trainers in here or something? Escape ropes come in handy inside caves. Thanks. <laughs> Why do they sell brick pieces? I like a whole brick, not pieces. Yeah, exactly, man. There are some real arrogant people this day and age. Josiah is our local gym leader, and he can be described with one single word. Idiot. <laughs> Alright. Oxala's Pokemon gym leader Josiah, too hot to handle. Okay. This is the fire type gym. You know how this one will go. Hello there, I've been waiting for your arrival. Professor Ilk has asked me to assist you. I'll give you all the inside info you need. Alright, Josiah has fire type Pokemon, but you can tell by the scenery, right? Blazing. What could be a good choice of Pokemon to use? Rock is another excellent choice. You're getting burned too often? Try buying a burn heal at the Mart. Please don't burn me. Kid? Is this a joke? Well, this should be a blast. For me. 
We'll see about it. Okay, so the plan is... Oh wow, okay, Hound Hour. That's cool. The plan is... We gain some levels here and then we come back to that guy and get a free Pokemon, hopefully. Level 8 is actually quite high. Compared to us, that is. Now let's just mud slap our way through. Our special attack and attack aren't that different right now anyway, right? And we have the soft sand. A little bit of a boost. Sandstorm, okay, that's cool. Might be helpful. Another Hound Hour. I think Sandstorm usually increases our special defense. Like for Rock Round and Steel types as far as I know. By 50%. Then again, whether this also works like that here, who can say? Okay, and then you just give it a little scratch. Oh wow, okay. He's out of a bitch. Improbable. No, it's very probable actually. Oop. What's the matter? Can't handle being around steaming lava at 700 degrees C. Yeah, actually, how hot would it be in a gym like this? Just standing next to lava. Charmander, okay. Get mud slapped, son. Growl doesn't even like, do anything against us right now. And then we just scratch, I think. Okay, wait. Okay, Growl actually did a lot against us here, I think. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yes, yeah, getting a little low here. Is this enough for another level? Oh, sadly not, okay. Now I would like to try and gain Ralts some EXP if possible. It's a level 10 Ponita though, so it might be dicey. Tail Whip, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try with Snorunty at least. We have to run back to the Pokemon Center anyway because we don't have mud slabs anymore. I wish mud slab had more than only 10 PP. That spike really hit us in a difficult spot there. Okay, well. Well played, Bonita. Now the question is, is it faster than Larvitar? It is, but it missed. <laughs> Goodbye. Stellar performances here in episode 2. Gah! Okay, where is the gym leader? This seems to be the gym leader. Does this way lead outside? Let's hope so. Totally does. Well designed gym, actually. Now this time we're heading back to the Pokemon Center, not because we're low on HP, we're actually low on PP. The nurse has got to be like, man, what is this boy doing? He's like, coming back here every five minutes. Let's at least get our first gym badge this episode before we call it. I actually want to see how much of an idiot Josiah really is. So here we go. Sup? It's Josiah. I accidentally kicked my table there. Whoops. Yo, dog, I'm not going to make it easy for you. Let's make this battle a rat. 
Okay, Doc. Oh, look at this. Nice. <laughs> this game is always like, oh, look at this. It's Gen 2, but it looks so good. Okay, get, get just mud slap, man. Sunny day? I don't think so. Might have to call up a sandstorm here. I hope this thing doesn't have solar beam or something like that. Metal Claw, mmm. I thought they would not make it that easy on us here. Here's a sandstorm though. Okay, nice miss, son. Get slapped! Okay, that was easy. Uh, next is a Slugma. Cool to give Slugma some love, actually. Most people, me included, always forget that Slugma is a Gen 2 Pokemon because you can only find it, like, at the end of Johto, right? In an optional area, actually. Just, which is just a little bit stupid. It's using Sunny Day, but... Will it get to act before us again? Don't think so, actually. Nope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was good. Whoa! You're the bomb! You've earned my badge. Higher badge increases the attack power. Also, lets you use flash out of battle. Now that's fuck. Also, take this. DM82, nice. Wow, the DMs actually go like all the way up to 100, maybe. Yo, so that's called ATM, and it means something. Um, technical machine? Yeah, that's it. The Pokemon can learn moves from it, and it has unlimited uses. This DM is for Will O' Wisp, it's actually nice. It inflicts a burn on the foe. Okay, let's just check out this DM right now. Nobody can learn this, right? I would be very surprised, but you never know. Rolls can learn this. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, I'm going to call it and say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the long episode. I had to do it, the last one was so short. Thank you for your support. Click like, comment, subscribe, it helps me out. I'll see you next time and bye bye.